We are back uh, after many months for the first episode of round two of Frostburg Film Society podcast. I'm Jake, and with me is the phone. The phone, and it's Ty Martino on the phone. Is calling in. <laughs> it's Gloria. She's like, I'm sorry. It's Gloria <laughs> phoning yeah. in. Yeah. But no, really, it, Ty and Mary Grace. She's back for more AMSR yes. insanity. Uh, so, we just got done watching Four Rooms, which is a, it's weird, is, is Tarantino is kind of the the newer ages Hitchcock, in, a, in terms of like, he's a he's one of the last big rock star directors, oh. right? Is there another rock star director that's more current than Tarantino? Like, any does anybody have a name like he does that's on every talk show in the history of talk shows? I don't think... Um, Greta Gerwig... Yeah, Greta's, yeah, Greta's she's really climbing. pushing herself out there. Barbie and I really, love Greta Gerwig. Yeah. And even Little Women. Like I, every, See, I, I'm a big Barbie fan. I thought that movie was oh, amazing. Was great. It was great. So good. Uh, it made me laugh so hard. And I hope they continue to do things for many years to come, and the Oscars aspired by that, as long as Ryan Gosling is involved. But... <laughs> um, it, it, this is sort of weird to me... Because out of all of the films that he did, it's not. So this is vignette month for for us. All May we're ju- we're doing two films that are vignette um, okay. formats, and comedy specifically. And uh, Four Rooms is one that it didn't pop. It's made by a band apart. This was coming right off the heels of Pulp Fiction and Desperado, which were two of the biggest films in the world of their year. Um, and How this, was this shot? It looked with odd. The camera. No, I, it, yes, but what type <laughs> and on what kind camera. of material? So <laughs> every one of them, um, I can't give you a specific make and model, but I know that this was heavily influenced by uh, 60s and 70s cinema and specifically a lot of the French New Wave stuff. So you feel a lot of Godard, and it's like that rougher animation that you saw in the first Nutty Professor. Mm-hmm. Um the music is very French. Mm-hmm. The the imagery is very French in a lot of ways. But the, the thing that I really loved is that this was the year after, basically, 94 was the year of independent cinema, that it just exploded and went everywhere. And uh, a lot of it had to do with, with Pulp Fiction, because, uh, I mean, that film is still massive to this day. Um, but the idea was that they're four of the most popular filmmakers of that year, which is Allison um, Anders, Alexander Rockwell, Robert Rodriguez, and Quentin Tarantino got together and they wrote their own sections, they wrote their own vignettes, they directed themselves so their styles come through. Um, the critics sort of panned the first half of the film and gushed over the second half. Uh, you know, and Rodriguez's vignette was the precursor for the Spy Kids franchise. And you can really see that, I think. It, like, Antonio Banderas's character is directly ripped out of uh, this film. The idea of the kids, Robert did some things like Big Hair was a short film, or Bad Hair was a short film that did huge. They got him money to do uh, some of his other stuff, other shorts. Uh, so none of this was out of anybody's wheelhouse. The thing that really kind of fascinated me was when they talked about misogyny at the time, they all pointed to the first vignette. And what's particularly fascinating is it's written and directed by a woman. So it, it's kind of complicated for me to say it's misogyny. I do find a lot of it interesting, and there are things about that first vignette that I don't quite fully understand. Um, it seems like they had a mixed bag decision and I'm sure some of it was contractual in terms of like, if you're going to do a thing, why is, okay. So the, the moments with topless women, um, Oh man, I missed it's interesting. It's, it's the only one with anything like that in it. Right. Uh, but my question is more of a consistency thing in terms of. If this is a covenous ritual by witches, why is there a lack of uniformity? Um, I would be okay with either with either decision, right? Like it doesn't 
it, it didn't feel like it added or took anything away, but the fact that it was mixed and like some of the women who are obviously bigger stars did not do that. And the women that were lesser known were, um, you know, new, I guess it had probably less power behind them. Um, were probably asked or forced, maybe, given this is the mid-90s and actors had less say-so than they do now. Um, so I'm very mixed by it, but I I really loved uh, Tim Roth's decisions in the whole thing. I thought this was really one of his standout performances. It's very... Um, uh, what was the actor in The Nutty Professor? Jerry Lewis. Jerry Lewis, yeah. thank you. Um, it, it felt very Jerry Lewis informed, his whole performance in a lot of ways. A lot of ticks, a lot of weird right. jerking mo- right. motions. And, um, or uh, Mr. Bean, Rowan Atkinson. Mr. Bean, yes. Yeah, very much that. It was like a poor man's Mr. Bean. <laughs> That's an excellent way. Um, I he reminded me, are we talking about Ted? Yes. Yes. He reminded me, have you watched It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? Oh, yes. Yeah, he reminded me of Dennis a little bit, like a little more subdued, but especially the one scene where he started yelling reminded me of when Dennis is yelling at Dee, was like, I am not allowed! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not allowed to eat the peel. <laughs> like, That's, I don't know why. Is that, uh, I don't know, and... You know, is it's always sunny. That's kind of interesting because it is really in infl- like as dumb as they play those characters. They're very smart guys that make. Yeah, he went to Juilliard. Yeah, these are, <laughs> are well properly trained yeah. trained artists. It, so the same way with Jerry Lewis. Oh, I mean, one hundred percent. With speaking of which, this is the year we get that film. Oh, the clown. The clown film. Really? Yeah. What film? It's been fifty years. Jerry Lewis, man, 1974, he, yeah. he did a movie called The Clown, and everyone was anticipating him doing this. Or the day it's the, a drama. The Day the Clown Cried? Or something. I thought it was called The Clown. But um, you're, you're probably right. But, um, and he wrote it, I think, directed it. Wrote it, directed it, starred. Starred in it, saw a screening of it, and said, this cannot go out. <laughs> So he put it in a vault, sort of like um, Prince's Kevin Smith documentary, which we need to get out of the vault. Yeah. That he hired Kevin Smith to do a documentary about himself. And as soon as he was done, he was like, thank you, and took it out and put it away. <laughs> uh, and so he, I don't know if he sealed it for 50 years or what the rule was, but he did not want anyone seeing this. Now, there have been scenes of this Jerry Lewis movie released. I've seen some stills. But Still. we've never seen the full the capacity of The day the clown it. cried. The day the clown cried, yeah. And it, um, it, it's super obscure. And, so, and conceptually, I understand, because it's like, how are you going to put a clown in a concentration camp right. during World War II? That's, it, and especially because he is a Jewish comedian, so I'm, right. I'm guessing there's a lot of things in poor taste. But also, you know what I mean? Like, well, back to the the four rooms and the Jerry Lewis connection. As soon as it started, I started thinking of the Bell Boy with Jerry Lewis, oh, where yes. it was a movie in the late fifties, maybe early sixties, where Jerry Lewis did not have one bit of dialogue, I don't think, mm-hmm. and so he was just a bell boy that went from room to room, and there was you know farce things like t- the, today. I didn't like the fact that they acknowledged it. Like in Tarantino's yes. piece, he was like, it's just like how wonderful Jerry Lewis. I, like I was like, why well, just turn to the camera and be like, here's what we're doing. I couldn't understand a word that Tarantino said. That is so also I had the problem. no issue. I was he just was, like um, nodding my head. Again, this was a year after Pulp Fiction. So I'm guessing illegal substances had started flowing heavily. And this was early in their abuses. So... Am I allowed to say? Allegedly. 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 Good for him. Uh, Allegedly. Allegedly. But uh, so, and he is very manic and sweaty, which is not uncommon for his performances anyway. I mean, lest we forget what he, his character in Pulp Fiction. And right. We didn't get a lot of, well, no, I guess Mr. Brown was also that way in Reservoir Dogs as well. And spastic. Spastic, mother would yes. say. Um, uh, but here's the question. I did not like that they made Jennifer Beale do two 
like a cameo like she was in the second one and then she and then came she was back in, yeah the and then he's one. like oh hi like there was no need for that somebody google if tarantino and jennifer beale were dating i think she was he was no. dating kathy griffith no not because i looked up who he was dating oh. and she came i up. thought it was coppola i thought it was sophia coppola well, no, he i mean he's has gone, dated he's gone her through. but he has I dated mean, kathy griffin is what right. i saw he's mir servino he dated a lot i mean he was tarantino in the 90s so yeah precisely um, <laughs> i but that's like mm, he had really some, he had some money and some that's some so, power mm, i mean so, you, again like he is allegedly the, he is the <laughs> only well he's the only man that harvey weinstein could not say no to you know what i mean like harvey what? was harvey weinstein was very known allegedly. for being a bully right uh this is not even this is documented this is a court thing so well, like yeah uh, he's in prison for this type of behavior so and, th and then some but oh uh, yeah he ugh, uh but Tarantino was the one guy that got everything he always wanted from him. Harvey never disagreed. He never tried to cut Tarantino's films. He let him make exactly what he wanted every well, he time. He was a cash cow, too. I oh, mean, he yeah, knew yeah, that for sure. he touched the, the Oh, account. so Bruce Willis wasn't credited because he violated SAG rules for acting in this film for no money. Oh. It was for fun and as a favor. Okay, I and knew. So that's why he wasn't credited. I thought that maybe he was under contract with the studio and couldn't appear and then just went out. So he violated Sag Girls. Interesting. Interesting. To be in his buddy's, buddy's show. So but that's really all that comes up. I can't find it. But anything. it's also, you have to all, you think Bruce Willis wasn't necessarily, like, we think of Bruce Willis now as this monumental, um, unshakable cut. I'm. Granted, he's he was pretty big by in the '90s. That was his he time. Was, he was big, but this was pre Fifth Element. This was pre um, what year was Die Hard? I think it's post Die Hard. Is it post so, Die Hard? And it's post Pulp Fiction. It is pulp, post Pulp Fiction. Yeah. So, but I mean, he, he got stardom on Moonlighting in the '80s in yes. the TV show, and that's really what catapulted him. And then he left, did movies. I think Die Hard was before this. It, it looks like it, like visual, just. The way, him, yeah, yeah, the way yeah, he, he looks. Yeah, yeah, the way he looks. looks like so, I mean, probably three years, but I mean, Die uh, Hard has become a phenomenon. But, since, I, but. I, I mean, I, and I, I feel that Pulp Fiction kind of, catap I think he got a lot of work no, after Jennifer Pulp Fiction. Jennifer Beals was married to Rockwell. Really? Uh, Somebody's watching me. Oh. Is that him? I think. No, Alexander Rockwell. Oh, the second, the I second you Rockwell, yes, Michael, Michael Jackson's, Michael Jackson's cousin. friend, exactly. Yeah. Cousin. Are it's they his cousins? cousin, yeah. Because oh, Michael Jackson is the back. Right, vocals but I just in thought they were song. friends. Michael Jackson's done back down another. I think maybe they are good friends, but why is so, the name Rockwell Jackson? Because I would be taking that Jackson name. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, I don't like like it, but you are, like. <laughs> But the the first vignette is really in a, it's the one that that kind of gets shit on the hardest. I'm As it sad should I be. missed it. Yeah, it's it. I'll have to. It again, vignette films are always a mixed bag. It's just by design. But and you can't help but compare. Yeah, like that's about. Well, that one was my favorite. What was your favorite? Mine. Uh, it might be the Rodriguez section. I really like the Tarantino section. Uh, but I think Robert Rod just the kids made me laugh, and it, it felt true in terms of like the weird, strange shit that kids do. I didn't it, like the feet stuff. Well, that's it, it's the like innocence that really of children. But but right? no. But the thing is, is that it's the innocence of children being manipulated by adults. So like sure. I don't trust that intentions were pure when I they do. have this young girl holding her foot, foot up and like beckoning the camera. But I I do based on the person that made like there there are a lot of bad things to say about Robert like everybody in life right like nobody's perfect but he's a father of what six children five children. He I have was no idea. Very happily married with kids at this time, um, and, and he's divorced now. But. And it, it did seem like it was gratuitous, but it played into it because they both kept saying, "There's this weird smell. It's your feet. No, it's your feet. Oh, yeah, no, it's your feet." True. And then it was the hooker in the bed. So, spoiler alert. In which I, I didn't actually. I just thought like, "Oh, the kids are being weird. Like there might not even be a smell." And then when the reveal happens, yeah. it's almost. Yeah, that was that. The the misbehaviors was my favorite by far like oh, because it's hilarious. it was the tightest it was the best cast um beautifully shot 
consistent where there was inconsistencies in the other one, including Tarantino as well. well all, and how about weird. the, I, I don't know if you would call that a go-go dancer, a belly dancer, but that was Selma Hayek. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, which is really interesting because she did a very similar thing in uh, From Dust Till Dawn. Better known um, for grown-ups fame. Right. That Selma is, Hayek is better known for Grown Ups. She's now? not better known, but she I would is say in it. Most known. Most known. Her most star notable of Grown role, Ups one and star two. Of one is and two. is this like uh, the Jack and Jill thing for you? Yes. Like if it's Adam Sandler related, you're like that's all that matters in this Adam world. Adam Sandler and John Mayer are two people that I would just bring into things to upset John my Mayer? friends. Yeah, because my friends are huge Swifties, so they'll bring up someone. I'll be like, you know who they're friends with. John Mayer. Jonathan Clayton Mayer. Am I the only one that finds him creepy and lewd? No, there's the people that wrote <laughs> about him and Andy Cohen just recently. I don't know if you've seen the news. Really? Oh, he, oh, he called out a journalist. Google him. He's, he's, he's in the <laughs> news excited. today. Headlines today. Also, he ruined Breaking the Grateful news. Dead. That's not okay. forgivable. I, John not Mayer has talk his own about station this. on Sirius, but we'll talk about that yeah, later. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, but the, the second vignette, I thought... I still don't entirely know. This is the fourth or fifth time I've seen this movie in my life, and I still don't quite understand what was actually happening in the second vignette in terms of is it like a kink thing, like was kind of being surmised, or is it something else that's going on? Like, I don't know what that means. Like, um, and then he fakes a heart attack, but it's not really, and it. I think it was a couple, and that was their kink because it looked like, you know, when Ted came in and it was serendipitous that his name was Ted, and then the real Ted showed up, and they were going to start the whole thing all over again. So you think it's maybe a little Virginia Woolfish? Absolutely. They're just playing with it that that was the whole thing. So, you know, not really have the heart attack. But what that's what kind of broke it down. If they were a couple that enjoyed that sort of role play, that sort of kink, let's get some people in on this and see if we can trick them, she wouldn't have been upstairs with Chester and them. Yeah. Like, she wouldn't have broken away from that. That that really kind of, that's why I wondered if Jennifer's like, oh, let me do both parts, or like, what happened that she I would did love, both? It, it, that hurt it for me. Well, and again, like, the, the strange thing, when you start looking at this stuff and digging it up, like trying to find copies, um, if a film hasn't made it onto Blu-ray, a lot of times the background info, like the juicy stuff that you really are looking for for mm -hmm. information is not available. They just, just didn't have it. Just there was an interest. The billion questions weren't asked. And let's be honest, it's more like 25 questions with 17 or 18 of them being the same thing over and right, over and right, over again right. by everybody. Um, so there's not a ton of information on this. So there's, no director's commentary, anything like that. No, and that was even the weirdest part about this is that, um, like, even the original prints for DVD for this film yeah. and on VHS are very hard to find. Really? And the newer updated Blu-rays are only European, which we have a region free, but, like... The importation, the time that it takes to get here, all that stuff is is kind of ridiculous for what it is. Mm -hmm. And for a, and I'm going to be honest with you, I, I don't know how many more times I'm ever going to look at this film again. Um, just because like, if I'm going to watch Robert Rodriguez, I'm probably going to watch Desperado or One Spot of Time in Mexico or something. If I'm going to watch Tarantino, it's probably going to be Inglorious Bastards and Pulp Fiction. It's not really going to be... Right. This isn't a particular film that jumps out. Um, the third vignette, as we've said, is probably my favorite. It's your favorite. What did? Where yeah, are you at with you this? Saw of the three, I liked the misbehaviors, but yeah. I didn't. I felt like the feet thing was weird, and I have a thing about like I just did I, you that felt. Is it gross to you, or is is it a concern of fetishization? Both. Is it both? It's both. I find feet very dis. In fact, like I almost never not have socks on because I feet find feet so disgusting. But I, I just thought it was like weird stuff that children do. Like kids are weird. I, like kids like, are <laughs> weird, and like I have brothers, but I'm not like. It is more of a thing where it's just like I have trouble watching something like that and immersing myself in it and like suspending reality like when stuff like that is on the screen i can only think about like the adults involved in the process I and possible it. like corruption of that like that's just yeah. and that's I, a me I, thing i don't like, think this is that what i love about it so much is 
in typical cinema, there is a barrier, right? This type of thing we're making is for children and families. And this thing that we are making is for adults. Mm -hmm. And I really love when the line gets blurred because I find in life, the line is blurred. Like generally kids are separate from adult situations, but there's spillover on occasion that can be uncomfortable or awkward or kids don't know what the hell is going on. So, you know, the finding a needle in the drawer and the dead hooker under the mattress and they're drinking alcohol and smoking cigarettes. Like, I don't think you can get away with kids smoking now in film ever. I don't think. I did really enjoy though, the little girl yelling at him for <laughs> calling her a whore. Like, I think that was incredible. It was really, and but, it's, it, it you would almost think, because it, it felt uh, feminist in some ways, mm -hmm. and you would, it's very odd that it was Rodriguez who made that decision and wrote that piece where you would kind of es expect uh, Anders to have done it, being that she's a woman that has made very feminized films over the years. Um, but it's a very interesting I think that, um, well, I think we're putting a lot on Anders, you know, like she, maybe she just wanted to do something fun, something about witchcraft, something about, but she's a woman, she's a woman. This but is certainly fun, um, for sure. And it's an interesting exercise to kind of, especially in, in American cinema where anthology isn't right. A common, you know, it's called vignette because it's French and because the French kind of, uh, molded what vignette cinema is um there's a lot of great things and it, it's worth a watch it's interesting yeah it's, and it's a farce and so i i think that it has such a late 1950s early 60s feel to it like that's what mm. there was a throwback to and you know if you like that sort of outlandish uh, like what's up doc i don't know if you're familiar with that it's ryan o'neill barbara streisand uh, a peter bogdanovich Eight? 68, yeah, maybe, maybe. Somewhere in there. Maybe. Totally. Yeah, where they're it's, totally, you know, they're swapping out a suitcase in Mar Madeline Kahn's screen debut, and it's, it's, you know, it's ridiculous. This is ridiculous, what we just watched. Oh, for sure. No, this is a car. It's a cartoon, it's a cartoon. basically. Yeah. And, I mean, the animation and the opening sequences, to me, uh, feel very, like, schoolhouse rock in design. Right. But it's got that backtrack that is... French, but it also some of it kind of feels like an earlier John Waters kind of needle drop in some ways. I would argue that the only thing that did not feel like that 1950s, 1960s farce feel, French feel, was Tarantino's because it was all Tarantino. No, it, some of it, like the camera, the switch, like, like the, the long shots and the sweatpants, the kind of disoriented me, like when they showed him leaving and then they were like hundred dollars come back and he comes back and they switch to tarantino mm. i think that's the scene it is and then tarantino walks back and right, like right, right mm -hmm. as the camera switches he comes out i'm like how the hell did well, you get down that hallway so this is like some of those shots kind of it, like, it's almost like there was part of me that wanted to say it felt a little Godard in terms of movement, but the point I would of, have said the same. Well, but the point of Godard with his movements was that he is not showing you the thing that everybody were like, right, right he right, looks right. away. So there's a car accident, you see the car coming, and then you see the results. So right. you don't see the actual you accident. See the actual, you see the um, which America slows down to savor those moments. So that was kind of in Tarantino's approach to this feels like everything he did up until kill bill to be honest with you probably uh because he is very on the nose very like look at i'm doing look at this is a reference to this and this and this and like you know right let me explain what i'm doing here yeah and very why you're slowly it. yeah very slowly or very quickly but a lot of words <laughs> um and also the the um the sets very like four very distinctive rooms and they mm -hmm. all would have never been in the same hotel even the hallways look different i mean you could argue that about the rooms in this building the hotels hotel rooms in this building as well is that every True, one I of guess. them is very different very right. like 
the wallpaper is different in all of them. The the bedding is different in all of them. So the dead hooker is different. In that all is true. The feet are different in all of them. Yes. Yes. Yeah, some That's of so the funny. feet didn't disturb me, but I don't have it didn't a feet thing. It didn't disturb me. I have a. I well, I have an issue with. I, I have an issue with Tarantino, and I have an issue <laughs> with people with foot fetishes. So Why? it's not the feet I'm itself. Not a it's people with feet issues. Uh, it's pe- yeah. It's people with feet fetishes putting this media. But, out. but this was not Taran- that was not Tarantino's design. I know it was Rodriguez. Maybe he encouraged it. But it, it, may, it felt he he had passed him the script. Weird. Said, "Do you have it's, any it notes?" It's like feet. Specifically, though, the thing like at first, <laughs> a footnote. She like she <laughs> takes off her shoes and she like cracked her toes, and then already I was like, "That's kind of weird," but like okay, like I didn't need a close up shot of that. <laughs> but, but then it's when she's like beckoning her little brother to go and, and like, and it's to this kick shot. him in the face. Yes, and I knew that that's what was going to happen. Great. But the buildup was very odd. So wait, why I I don't okay. So I've never had the beckoning experience in my life. So like I did get not on that. Yes. <laughs> Ty, get over there. Ty, get on there. Beckoning. Uh, my, I have no. nice feet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be the judge of that. Exactly. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna hate it because just feet are so. I'm the opposite of it. I I don't like it. But that was I didn't connect any of those moments that way. Like to I didn't me, find it inappropriate. Like no, even the cracking no. of the toes, I was like, of course, because every scene, every moment, or any time a camera moved, there was a distinctive shot and a s- distinctive sound. So of course he's going to crack it, you know, or a, mm. like a squeak of the um, of the water spigot. And I'm glad or the be- the turn of the key, you know. Uh, so yeah. they sweetened every sound, every close up sound. So and I'm glad I'm just, I'm glad yeah. that you you might be onto something. To, you pointed the sound design out because it 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 almost overpowers the like it's the in sound design one. is better than the image I would argue in a lot of ways in the misbehaviors or all throughout in the whole huh. in the whole piece like it I thought sound design was superb and it was interesting and it it kind of um, the penthouse stood out. wasn't visually interesting. Oh, it was not horrible. Yeah, it was no, the worst set. That was not. <clears throat> I think the misbehavior set was good. I didn't see the. There which was a giant one. tub and no bed. I don't think there was a bed. Was but it was in the back room? One okay, it wasn't then, very good. Yeah, the, the misbehaviors had the best the set. Marissa as well. Tomei, Tomei, yeah, Marissa that Harry. looked like an apartment. That one was fine. Like, that, that was looked an apartment. Like a in the hotel. Like, no, so he called his boss. Yeah, yeah, like that looked right betty kathy griffin was his boss yes but i thought she but he said earlier i think he said she lives here oh did, did he, he say she I lived here he that would be so wacky that they would be sitting there in the hotel that they work smoking pot in front of the television i i don't know i i found that whole thing hypothetically hypothetically allegedly allegedly allegedly, allegedly. supposedly john well, mayer allegedly <laughs> john <laughs> mayer john, but mayer. It's john <laughs> mayer in the dining room but it, it's with the, with the candlestick. Oh, with the candlestick. With yes, the sir, candlestick. Yes, Very good. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, you, you might be, you it might be right. I don't. I, I find that to be. We're not going to find anything written about this online, so. We're not yeah. Gonna, no, I tried. Yeah. I, I think that that we are the writers of this right now. At this point, you can yeah. just uh, this transcribe this, and we'll. we'll we may yeah. be update the Wikipedia. We may be the only ones that have screened this publicly in experts twenty years. On four yeah. rooms. <laughs> I hope that's not. If only my Gloria experience. was here yeah, to share in the splendor. The exactly. She, she doesn't know what she's doing. I, I think she would have gotten a bigger kick out of this, that, you know, because she tends to gravitate towards older film. Mm-hmm. And this has that texture of an older film. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of a bummer she didn't make it, but, you know, she has to go to like school. She had like two papers due tonight. Nerd. That's what I thought. It was like the end yeah. of the semester. Yeah, it's the end of the semester. Tonight. I don't have any exams, so I'm kind of floating floating and avoiding mm. the work that i do have to do <laughs> i have a potluck tomorrow so cookies are due oh cookies, well then we should go we should actually wrap minutes. this up so yeah I think, I think we're giving it more talk than it deserves <laughs> well, <laughs> i think I, it, I the vix vapor rub oh i love that out. see that's another that good like moment. made me there was like, i forgot uh, about that i think you know what you said you may not watch it many more times i may watch the misbehaviors I would watch the first one now well, because I missed it. I want to see what that and was all about. I will also Skip point it. out. What if I want Skip Madonna? It. Skip it. Uh, it's it's fine. It but it's gratuitous. It, a, a lot of it. Mm. Yeah, I felt that way. I, uh, most of this felt gratuitous. 
Well, true. <laughs> it's I a think, movie tie. I think true. This is, movies no, it's are not gratuitous. Even movie. It's just like <laughs> it's you have most each stops. of them getting their own little room. Right. It's all just gonna, especially when Tarantino is starring in it as this like big Hollywood right, dude. Right, right, right. With that, this hot woman next to him. Exactly. That, See, it's make believe. <laughs> that was. <laughs> it's not real. It's not real. I made it up. I did find that kind of. The kind of egotistical when you look at it is like uh, the biggest guy in Hollywood. His role is the biggest guy in Me- Hollywood. And meanwhile, Bruce Willis, Shocker. who should have been in that role, is wandering around in the back room fighting screaming with at his, a wife. Fighting yeah. with Demi Moore. <laughs> is that, oh, it would have been. Or, it would have been at that time. Wait, yeah. Would it have been Demi, or would it have been the woman, the the porn actress before that he made that film with? I mean, that it saw? could have been. <laughs> because or maybe that was an actual conversation he was having with his first wife before it? Demi. What year? I don't even remember the name of that film because it, it's awful. Which the, one? <laughs> the one with Bruce Willis. He did with his girlfriend at the time. This is a porn actress that he did full frontal in. Oh. I'm going to need the title. He was like in the pool and he <laughs> swam oh. by. Yeah, but that like, was, I think cock. that was after. That was after. I think that's what it was called. Um, <laughs> what was it cut? It called? was called Cock. Oh, that's or a Bruce's. good app. Yeah, Bruce's exactly. cop. But listen, I Bruce think Bruce's that, I think what Chuck think was <laughs> like late Willis. late nineties. It may have been. Well, this was ninety five. See, I don't I hate even Kevin remember Bacon. That. Okay, but I love Why? Kevin Bacon now. No, I used to hate Kevin Bacon for no reason. He's but I've delightful. reformed. He is like Stir of love. Echoes. Allegedly. He is he is not even allegedly. He is wonderful. Okay, good. But I allegedly Tremors? hated him for no reason. That makes no, no sense. Bacon, bacon's great. No, he's, he's, everyone's gotta kind of love bacon. He's like perfect. Check it. I, listen, I think that that actress, the adult film star, is the term we use. Uh, was she's not a whore? Was was before Demi, but I think this is this is after Demi or during Demi. Was this after or Demi? Oh yeah, including the including the movie that you mentioned. I think it was Demi time. Was it Demi at this Hell point? Oh yeah, because this was. I, and again, my, my I saw history. Bruce Willis on our honeymoon. He rollerbladed past. <laughs> I keep that up to in, myself. Uh, no, up in uh, <laughs> up Martha's in the, Vineyard at the Finger Lakes. <laughs> at the Finger. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> it, 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 you're there on your honeymoon. It was a vi- you? uh, vineyard, and no, it wasn't our honeymoon. It was years later. But uh, they and he and he rollerbladed past us, and I was like, oh my god, that was Bruce Willis. If, and then we found out he has a place on. If on the somebody oh. saw me roller like rollerblading past, I wouldn't be able to. Like I feel like there's I mean, certain it was activities. Super fast, but <laughs> was really I just fast. keep picturing your bread, like freshly married, and, and like you like we were you'll the, never guess what we I were just saw. The beach. <laughs> well, I, I saw said that Bruce a lot. Willis. I said that a lot, <laughs> but um, but that was just that was sort of a catchphrase for that whole week. Um, but um, the, no, uh, no, but no, it, it was a, I think it was after. I, I think we visited after, and he came, came zoom zooming like past us. It was like, oh my god, that was Bruce Willis, and then we found out. Pre-internet, that he and Demi. Had How'd you find out? Demi. Maybe like through. You went to the local rollerblade repair <laughs> or, or shop. Yeah, we asked around. Maybe you know. Look, and by the way, I just want to say, anybody that that marries a creative in this type of field, they should be sainted. <laughs> yes, sir. Your wife should be sainted, sir. <laughs> exactly. Um. So, but that that poor woman they just. You'll never guess. I saw Bruce Willis. It was like, okay, that's I, nice, honey. That's, that's exactly. nice. Whatever you saw, honey. She's like at her computer. <laughs> well, oh, there's Casey. no computers then, right? She's, yeah, no, she's, she's at her abacus. She's there yeah, exactly. at her abacus, <laughs> balancing her checkbook. Okay. <laughs> that's great. The Can big, we, the big ledger checkbook. <laughs> and then she's like, time me. And she turned over a sand, uh, like an hourglass. <laughs> That's wonderful, Ty. Can can we go get dinner now? Let's We're walk going to the, the movies. Dinosaur. Let's walk the dinosaur. <laughs> can I please eat? <laughs> We're going to the movies. I need room for popcorn. <laughs> Give me some rollerblades. I want to follow Bruce. No, I, I want to meet Jimmy. Like, where I swear were you? To you? You come back twelve hours later, like covered <laughs> in dirt. Sweat. Your clothes are ripped. It She's wasn't like, oh him. My God, no, 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 like, it wasn't Bruce. Or maybe it was was a it Mars. Was, was it hyenas? I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna have you to ask. You start this crying. Story. You're like, it wasn't this is, him. This is, med- this is right around this time. It was around like ninety five. Really? Yeah. That is. Yeah, because the yeah, yeah. That yes. Is, allegedly. 
A did supposedly. He, a suppo- did he have a terrible? Uh, I have it on good authority. He went too fast. I mean, I did. I couldn't have done, did a police sketch art. I can't believe you didn't chase him. <laughs> we hey, were walking. Hey. We were walking past, and he went zoom the other way. I'm sorry, honey. I got it. It's like that's <laughs> you like stick so, your leg out to trip him. I just threw a stick, like you know, <laughs> in between. Exactly. Oh, like on, uh, like on, uh, not Big Daddy. Big Daddy. You have a pocket of marbles. Or was it like him. misery, where you drug him back to to the room right. you were staying at? And you're yeah, like, said, I'm gonna break your legs. So who you was run. the cockadoody adult porn star that you were married to? <laughs> Were they I need answers. No, supposedly. Just, so, supposedly. So Allegedly. the woman that Quentin Tarantino is married to now is like really attractive. And she's he a, is like super bummy. She's an Italian model. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, and he's Quentin Tarantino. Well, they just had two children Some, and all that. What? I don't think it's bummy, it's bummy. Bummy. <laughs> bummy. bummy more. Bummy more. <laughs> no, like sometimes I'm like shocked when I remember like just how much money really can do. Oh, it for can, you. It can do like well, anything, allegedly. Um, supposedly. Yeah. In partners that are mostly vain, women they are not as vain as men tend to be. Uh but he's a very talented, yeah, not a young man, old man now. Yeah. Tarantino's But fine. I'm, okay. But, okay, so wh- what he's is. He's not a looker, <laughs> as grandma would say. I wouldn't even call him a keeper, though. Like, keep him somewhere else. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's a keeper, but keep him. Keep, keep him elsewhere. Keep him keep away him, from Oh, God. So <laughs> he's what you call a keeper. Keep him away from me. Yeah. yeah. So what is our, our ultimate conclusion on this film? I like twenty five percent of it. <laughs> oh, I, I like more. Uh, a little more, thirty five percent. I'd say like, well, I I had some good laughs. I am fascinated. By the way, when anybody brings up this movie, the only thing that anybody ever talks about is Tarantino, Tarantino, Tarantino. No, they shouldn't. And that's because I liked what's his face. Yes, he Siegfried. was great. Uh, yeah, I would well, marry him. Uh, you know who he is. I could fix him. You know who he is. Who? Do you watch The Sopranos? I was going to say The Sopranos. Yeah, 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 he's Richie. Richie? Ap- not, I think Richie Aprile. I think Richie The Sopranos. Uh, he was the, the one, one that, that Janice yeah. shot. I he mean, was, spoiler alert. <gasps> he was did you, the, did you, have you not watched it? No. Okay. He was the Allegedly. one. Well, I, well <laughs> listen, I'm going to let you in on a secret. Supposedly, they in, all get In The Sopranos, someone is shot. Like okay. every there. 30 minutes. Every 30 seconds, <gasps> I think. No. But he was, what's interesting, so. he was my favorite of Janice's lovers because he was the one that liked to have sex while holding a gun to her head. Right. Which was particularly a... Allegedly. Uh, Supposedly. Ri- there was Richie and Ralphie April. I am going to have to Yeah, Ralphie was... Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yes. uh, what is that actor? Uh, the, I see him from The Goonies. The Matrix. And The Goonies. The Goonies? The Goonies. Who he was, was he in The Goonies? He was one of one the, the brothers. brothers. Oh, yeah. shit, that's right. I always just think of the Matrix because of that. My brain tells me this steak is delicious. I but love that was movies, Ralphie like and this is Richie. Movies and they're famous. And I'm I've never seen. You've them. never seen the Goonies? I don't think so. Oh yeah, this uh, I haven't seen the Matrix. Haven't I think seen you'd like Pulp you'd Fiction. like you'd like some Goonies. Goonies. I, is I get my goon on. Get your goon on. Okay. Yeah, get I'm gonna go goon. home and get my goon on. <laughs> but the, but actually, I think I don't think it's Goonies. It's Goonies. I'm Goonies, Goonies more. Goonies, Goonies more. <laughs> no, but allegedly. Allegedly, supposedly. supposedly. But these are masterpiece films. Like Pulp Fiction. Goonies? But have you watched Jack <laughs> the and Jill? The Goonies, I would argue, is a, it's a good one. I have so many things to say about Jack and Jill. I cannot. I'm well, so that's excited. Enough. That's spoiler. No, that's coming. Very excited. Let's wrap down let's the wrap, puddle. Let's wrap. So yes. So the conclusion I'm is. Yeah, I'm done. Twenty-five to fifty percent of this, we would all say, is are uh, is really good. Yeah. No, I, I wouldn't say really I, look, good. I love the misbehaviors. I <laughs> loved say it. I enjoyed and you it. know what? You can isolate that and put it in any film festival, and I will watch <laughs> and laugh. It, it's standalone. It is stand it really, alone. And that's the thing I love is uh, that I feel that each yeah. Each, why not? I think each vignette kind of stands. Alone. You feel like you needed to know Ted a little more. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no, the, like these kids are harassing. Fine, but a, I wouldn't say it was like. I don't think it's going to win the film festival. Well, no, <laughs> but I would no. enjoy watching it alone. No. I mean, there's a reason this is kind of obscure is because it's it's not uh, particularly strong all the way through. It's interesting and it has really great moments and a lot of great homage moments and. Um, I think they used the F word a lot when they were talking about it. Fun. And they were like, let's have fun. Just have fun. Fun. Just have fun with it. Just have fun with it. And I bet it was a lot of fun to make. Fun with it. Allegedly. Supposedly. Allegedly. Perhaps. Perhaps. According 
Mayhaps. But <laughs> John Mayer. This is whispering into the mic has become our theme. Um, I watch you. But it's worth a watch, and I'm I'm glad that we all Scott. sat down and spent time with it. Uh, I don't know how much more I'm going to be coming back to this, if ever. I mean, I, I'll probably skip ahead to things. Yeah. Your feet stink. <laughs> it's not the feet. It's the it's the dead it's whore. The dead, not, not a whore. Not a whore. She's, she's a, a hooker. She's a hooker. She's a well respected. She's a, yeah. she's well respected she's in her a, industry. A sex worker. She is a strong, independent woman who just so happens to be. She doesn't need I, a man. I guarantee her feet stunk. <laughs> Did but the you rest of her feet? They were in those shoes. Oh, no, he had her leg. He was holding that. her yeah. leg. Ten years. I called it you that called the room it? was going to set on fire. Ten oh. years earlier? I said the Please. jig went flying. <laughs> Oh, my no. favorite, my favorite moment, which is hilarious, is that they put the the, the cream on the kid's eyes, and then they said fireworks. It's like it's like when they're writing it or their brains over, they're like, okay, now the kids can't open their eyes. What would be the worst thing that a kid would want to see? Fireworks outside. Oh God, I can't open my eyes. Is that fireworks? The, I mean, that was brilliant. I laughed. The only so last remaining question that we can really ask ourselves is this: If this are we going to watch Who's Afraid of Virginia, Virginia, Virginia Woolf again? Because that, that was my oh, last. That, that remaining would be question. But oh, I had some. So, about that. if oh. this movie came out ten years earlier, could Eileen Warren have gotten off of murder? Who? What? By blaming Eileen Warren? Have you never seen the movie Monster? Oh, she was a, yeah. She was a a lady street worker that murdered five or six of Charlie's her John. Theron. Good for her. Charlie's Theron, yeah, and uh, Christina Ricci. They were incredible. Yeah, uh, incredible. Well, I mean, uh, the men are, deserved it. You know, when I got Monsters and Boys Don't Cry so mixed up, they came around the Whoa, same time, and it was yeah. just kind of, like, pretty attractive. Monsters and what? Attractive, and Boys Don't Cry it was attractive yeah. a- actresses. Like, it was a f- going, thing to, yeah. like, going someplace and using prosthetics and makeup to make them look non-attractive. Or Dude, re- I would say, like, regular people. Well, Monster, come on. I mean... And then Boys right. and Cry had now a story point. I have point. to look at Monster, but... You, I'm, I'm she won the ass. Traditionally, she did, yeah. I am, like... I believe in women's rights and wrongs. Well, thanks and for I that, Mary. And I support... Thank you. ...wrongdoings. Supposedly. Supposedly. Allegedly. Allegedly. Traditionally, I am... Ro- well, then, wait. If you supportive. support wrongdoings, how can you call them wrongdoings you support any doings i i support <laughs> you can't say um, right or wrong. what society gleams okay there you go society traditionally wrong. deemed wrong by society yeah i mm. say who cares that's it i say bleh. uh <laughs> okay he did say that he did say blah let's end on blah yeah let's end on blah Allegedly. uh next in two weeks from now we will be screening movie 43, another <laughs> vignette comedy. We've seen 42 movies to this point. No, no, wait. Oh, no, that's the name of the movie. Okay, The oh, name sorry. of the movie is for, movie 43. 43. We're going to watch movie and number 43. I'm going to call in. I'm, oh, there's, oh. And almost by design, it's like both of these vignette films are star-studded and not... Hugh Jackman in this is incredible. Hugh Jackman is really great. At it. Yeah, he, it is. It's so not good. my favorite. It's the Halle Berry it's, British guy is my Berry favorite was vignette. My favorite. You know, and when I rewatched it, I forgot about it. So then I got to the end. And I it did was too. Like a treat. And I was like, oh my god. No spoilers. I haven't seen it. No, no you say vignette one more time. Vignette. vignette. I'm Batman. I don't think <laughs> I can do that deep of a voice. Yeah. Who'd you say? Oh, she should do. Uh, yeah. it, was, uh, it was Jennifer Beale. You commented on how good her voice sounds. Like. Yeah. She needs to do audiobooks. Right. Her and Siegfried. Who? Uh, uh, Jennifer Jason Siegfried Lee and Roy. did. Um, I would listen to it. Was it Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? She did the audiobook for it. It was tremendous. I think I it was Tarantino did that. No. You watch Fleabag? Yes. Andrew Scott's doing audio porn now. Can I get a high five? Did what? you watch that? Uh, I'm pumped. Uh, <laughs> All of Us Strangers? No, not yet. It's an uh, interesting one. Watch and he it. just did an audio book. He did 1984. And oh. Andrew Garfield, was in, it was an Amazon thing, but now he's doing oh. the Quinn app. Watch that, all of us strangers, hmm. and then talk afterwards, because I need to talk what to the What is it on? What is it? Uh, as uh, Phoebe would say, it's on Amazon. Amazon? 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 So, Amazon Prime. No. It is on What is Hulu? it? Hulu? What is it about? 
You'll, All right. It's interesting. Okay, as let's go. We, as okay. we wrap this up. Wrapping up. How about this? Everybody it's recommend a new movie that you've seen in the past week or so that people should see. That I've seen a new movie that a I've seen in the past week. Relatively new. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think I've seen anything <laughs> new. I, well, I saw All of the Strangers. Is that a movie? It is a movie. I thought it was a series, and someone said that that was an interesting take. Great performances. Did you like it? Yeah, yes. Did you like it as much as four, uh, four billboards? No. No, no okay, no. okay. Three billboards. Three billboards, excuse me. But is four that they're, make, they're making four now? <laughs> well, just for you, Tom. I saw three billboards 37 <laughs> times, and I'm not joking. Yeah. It was just always on. So much so that I bought a copy of it because I was like, it. I got to see this thing. Well, and I've seen parts of it and I'm like, okay. okay, Mary, what is your one movie I recommendation? Like, I don't have, I don't watch, I haven't been, uh, the Impractical Jokers movie. I just watched and I wrote an essay about it. The Impractical Jokers it. movie? No, shut is that the a thing? fuck up. And yes, and I watched it and I wrote an essay on it for really? my creative nonfiction class for an interaction with art. And basically my thesis was that not everything has to mean something. Who's like, art? I agree. It can just, you're you not can mean- just, Art watch, in the traditional you thing when you talk. Art Garfunkel. Okay, Art Garfunkel. Okay. You yes. watched it with Art Garfunkel. Sounds of How's Silence. He doing? <laughs> My recommendation. Shh. Was is, I done? I'm so sorry. I assume <laughs> so. Talking. You were talking about fucking Art Garfunkel. I don't know jokers. anymore. This movie. Movie. The Look, movie. because I love Impractical Jokers. But, wait, wait, but this it, movie was so good, and it basically the premise is like it has Paula Abdul. Well, and it what stays it? like authentic yeah. to their television show and it doesn't just feel like a money grab but it's still like funny and it's like a, such such an easy watch now is it impractical jokers the movie yes or really? the, the impractical jokers movie impractical jokers i think it's like impractical jokers the movie so like jackass because it's basically <laughs> yeah. it, honestly yeah. kind of in the same way that like jackass and bad grandpa all those movies is like the same stuff right. over and over same again brand. no matter everything it is the same brand except this time it's movie format, so there's a bit of a linear plot like throughout. There's oh, a thread kind of tying wondering. everything together. Are all four of them in there? And or all just four the of three? them are in it, and then because it's kind of old. Okay. But um, oh. the they still are doing challenges oh. and everything <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly. Okay. But they're doing challenges to decide who doesn't get to go to the Paula Abdul party. In who does Florida. not get to go? Yeah. So the loser doesn't get to go to that party. Or, and that's or it should have been the winner doesn't the get things. to go to Paula Abdul's party. Very interesting. How dare it you? It ain't the way that you love me. Please. I grew up with Paula Abdul. Not like literally, but her soundtrack. For I, whatever reason, I am Shania Twain is playing in my head. And it's like, man. I would. <laughs> I would rig it so that I would intentionally lose. But uh, <laughs> that's right. I said it. Paula Abdul. Eh. Wow. She name, dances with Carly Cat. Name, name, name three name Paula three, Abdul songs. Right name three right. women. Name three women Fuck that it. you know of. American <laughs> three no, women? No, no, three no, 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 that, that hurts. <laughs> no, uh, name three Paula Abdul songs. Just go, real quick. The, the one with the cat. Not the one with the cat. It's not called the one with the cat. Uh, that I, I don't remember. It's terrible 80s dance music. I don't know. That's one of them. No. <laughs> it is. It's called Tremendous. Terrible 80s Dance Supposedly. Music. Supposedly. Allegedly. Supposedly. Uh, Allegedly. It's a lot of the synthesized, the doom, 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 boom, pow. That type of shit. Mean three Art Garfunkel hairdos. <laughs> frizzy, frizzy, and frizzy. The frizzy, the Curl fro, bow. and the what the fuck happened to that guy? Electrocution. Um, <laughs> All right, let's wrap. Let's wrap. Yes, we're wrapping. You, you keep saying, let's, come on, guys. My let's record, be done. And then we okay. keep so now what? No, <laughs> okay. Happy. So now Allegedly. my recommendation, oh, recommendation that I strongly recommend is the Iron Claw. Oh, I saw okay. that. But that's what a fish kind of. I, you I, could have just recommended that too. I like you didn't have to say like, guys, what do you guys? Say, recommend? And say, okay, well, I was hurry hoping up, guys. everybody had now seen I'd something like to awesome. Say the Iron Claw. Uh, tell me why you liked it. Did we Zach discuss this Efron. before? No, no. I I've, just I've watched this recently. with everyone though. I feel um, like. We didn't talk about I'm not, it. I'm not. A, too busy watching practice I'm not a wrestler. I, I don't <laughs> like wrestling, but the background of wrestling is fascinating. This is most certainly one of the more interesting, the Von Erich families, and the the cast is unbelievable. It unbelievable performances. It did not get any Oscar love, and there's there it's was a bummer. An, there's actually an article Aww. either in the Hollywood Reporter or Variety talking about why it was allegedly. Slighted. Allegedly. allegedly, allegedly. But here's the thing: is that you know that there were other Von Erichsen. 
Oh, were, were there other ones? Yes, there, no, no, there are other brothers, and that there was oh. there was an, an, yet another brother that committed suicide, yeah, unfortunately, and that they had to write it out because it was too sad for Hollywood. So they did a composite of two of the brothers, and then the only brother that it spoiler it's alert, a long story. Like, it's a, it's an incredible. A I remember them from the eighties because I'm that old, so <laughs> I remember them doing like pizza in commercials and okay. like things. Google it. I want to talk about horrible acting. It probably makes the Impractical Jokers look like Olivier. But, um, look nice. like what? <laughs> Lawrence Olivier, the best. One totally. of the greatest right. actors of all time. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, look, yeah, look was coming he to on Impractical and... Jokers? I think he would. I think he would <laughs> eventually do it. But... I, I would say that's what Excuse makes him great. Me. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Have thought? you seen my dog? <laughs> and then... <laughs> Hong Kong. <laughs> oh, so I'm sorry, Madeline. <laughs> we got a good one there. Bip, bip. <laughs> exactly. Hong Kong. I'm sorry, madam. That was my fart machine. <laughs> no, but I haven't watched okay. Iron Claw, but um, the podcast that I listened it's to, good. Crime and Sports, did an episode on yeah. them like years ago. So that was like the only information I had about them. So I saw that this was coming out and I kind of got excited. I'm going to have to re-listen to the episode. It's, 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 a, but I would recommend it. If it's you're a interested. solid movie and, and tragic, Tra really, really tough to watch, but beautiful, yeah. interesting. Yeah. Uh, the, the, uh, white is his last name. Uh, the bear guy, the bear. Yeah. He's Jeremy he's, Allen. Jeremy Allen, Jeremy White. Allen White. He is continuing. I know. That, I know the Isn't white boy of the month's name. What's Urkel's name? Something like that. Uh, I don't remember. It's from Family Matters. Anyway, we'll see. I mean, but, uh, his name's Urkel. So I guess. It, oh, the act actor. actor. To, to sum this up, White? Four Rooms is okay. It's worth a watch or two, but it's not. Right. It's not gonna uh, change anything or. Right. It's it's not revolutionary. Fast um, forward to the misbehaviors. Yes. The, yes. Go right Third to the misbehaviors. Vignette. Third vignette. vignette number three. If you can find a copy, because it's real hard to find. Uh, or borrow, borrow Jay's. Or, yeah, or, Break into his or borrow mine. Actually, on the same disc is also the movie Full Frontal, which is actually a <laughs> pretty good movie. Why um, did we watch that? Because this is what the license that we had was for. And somebody wanted there to do Vignette Month. Madam. I recall requesting one specific. Yeah, that is true, actually. No, the Way yeah. That You Love Me, Promise of a New Day, and. The These are Paul Abdul songs. songs. <laughs> and one more. And one more. Just give me one more. Very good. That one. Um, You're a cold hearted snake. Look into his eyes. Anyone? Mm -hmm. Anyone? Not at all. Not a He's Paul been Abdul song. Telling <laughs> lies. Well, please, you're the practical joker. I fan. only know the song that she sang in the show, and I can't even remember that. Okay. I it's remember the choreography. <laughs> She, she <laughs> and she's doing punched, it now, folks. I know you can't see her. She punched Sal. <laughs> well, oh, I'm sure of it. So. So, yeah, next, in two weeks, the last Allegedly. week of this month, Allegedly. movie 43. <gasps> 43. I'm, like, devastated. I have to miss. And oh it's the one I'm you gonna, I know. I'm going to be, I'm inconsolable about it. Good. You deserve I it. I anyway, almost suggested switching it, but I'm glad I Thank you guys, that. as always, for coming well, and recording this. Us. Thank and you. And thanks to, thanks to so our Fate. massive Fate. single person Fate. listening to this, I'm sure. It's me too. It's me it's in a couple of days listening. Yeah. You're um, cold I love you so much. A week Look after this comes out. <laughs> Until oh, then. He's been telling lies. Frostburg oh, oh. Film Society. Goodbye. <laughs>